Should I break up with my boyfriend? Uh. Shinnity, thank you for the question. If the question is even there, there's probably something to at least talk about. Yeah, sit him down and say, hey, shape up. Better shape up. Cause I need a man. Shannon, the real question is, why do you want to break up with him? For real. What would someone have to do for you to be like, we're done? Wear cargo shorts. Yeah, that's fair. If it's such an active choice that it's like, oh, the guy with the cargo shorts, done. Every time I have broken up with a boyfriend, it's usually because they break up with me because I'm super cool and chill and too cool and chill for them to hang. Too cool to function. Maybe suggest being in an open relationship. I think if I was in an open relationship, I would have a body count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, you like, you're possessive. Yes. But not in like a scary way. In a scary way. Oh, okay. We can't know definitively because Rachel and I are kind of terrible at relationships. There's probably somebody who has more knowledge about this than us. Yeah, you know and who's brave? Tell me. Madison Shepard. Oh, kind of I have heard Madison Shepard is the bravest woman in this room. At least. At least. At least. Was I supposed to do it yeah, too? No, yeah, oh god, I just got involved. Yes, do uh, it. When I was a young girl, about 18 years of age, I was hooking up with a guy in the back of his car, and I pulled, there's like a drawer under the seat, and I pulled it out, and there was like all these like pills and coke and weed. And I was like, are you a drug dealer? And he said to me, if you have to ask the question, then you know the answer. <gasps> So the fact that you're asking the question. I love that story. I love that story just for the context, yes. First of all, I met him at an 80s nightclub. It was uh -huh. amazing. This sounds petty as shit, but. I love um, petty. Me too. I'm Petty's a, very I, This is super petty, but we were at a very nice restaurant and he was, he was putting food onto his fork with his hand. Even does that. That's terrible. What the fuck were you doing? That I'm asking you this right now. And I even said, know what I said? I, I said, no, it'd be fun. It'd be fun to like take an etiquette class. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever did anything so dramatic, but usually like I am not the one doing the break. I think I, I broke up with my first boyfriend ever. He broke up with me like four different times, but he just kept coming back and I was like, mm, okay. Yeah. And then the last time I was like, no, I don't think we should do this. And he was like, you're such a bit. And I was like, okay. The worst way I broke up with somebody, I was in school in England. I was very thin, but then like I fell in love and I gained weight. And at one point he like turned to me. He asked me, when will it stop? <gasps> at what point does it stop? Oh my God. So here's the cool part. I stayed with him for two and a half more years after that. So I don't know, uh, I'm stupid. I think the crux of the matter is, is that we've all been broken up with, we've all broken up with somebody, and we're all still living to tell about it. Yes. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. It feels like it. It's not. Saying goodbye is really nice sometimes, and it can be a good growing experience for both of you. Fucking break up with them. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking do it. Who cares? Get to know you, Shannon. Girl, you pray love on yourself, girl. Eat yourself. Pray yourself. Love, love yourself. yourself. Re Shannon, break up with your boyfriend, then You'll watch all of our shows. Yes, girl. <laughs> Go ahead and smash that like button. One time. Smash that subscribe button. One time. And we'll see you next time. Fucking killing it. Uh.